What a perfect day for China today in the Pierre de Coubertin Stadium. And it all started with the longest match of the day and a win by China's Zheng Bo and Ma Jing over Korea's Ko Wan Ha in three games. The Chinese will meet their compatriots, her and Yu, in the final. Tina Bone was not fit enough to counter Wang Lin as the Dane went down in straight games as well, 21-11, 21-8. No more luck for Denmark in the men's singles in the match between Peter Gede and Chen Jin. Gede was all fired up in the first game, winning 21-19 before running out of gas in the second and third, losing 21-8, 21-11. Chen Jin will take on Tofik Hidayat in the final as the Indonesian beat for the eighth consecutive time Korea's Park Sung won 21-10, 22-20. It will be an old Chinese affair in the ladies with Du and Yu scooping their tickets to the final while Wang Xing beat her compatriot Wang Shixian in the other semi-final of the ladies' singles event. Last but not least, after an amazing performance, China's Cai Yun Fu Haifeng beat the Olympic champions Kido and Setiawan 21-16, 21-13. All right, uh, Bobby and Pedro, welcome to Badzin TV. We want to know a little bit more about the, the Players' uh, Federation, the Players' uh, Association. There was a meeting yesterday. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Uh, well, we had our annual general meeting, which we've been uh, staging since I was first elected seven years ago uh, in the World Championships in Birmingham, actually. So uh, we had 35 uh, different players attending from 22 different countries, and including some of the biggest uh, countries like Malaysia and Korea. Uh, in it, we discussed. Uh, we always discuss a variety of topics. Uh, the main uh, point this year was the on, uh, coming elections uh, for the athlete commission. Uh, in the next couple of months, we will have elections to see uh, who will be the new people on the uh, athlete commission, which governs, uh, which is the board basically of the players. And from that board, a new chairman will be elected, uh, taking me out, uh, which will be uh, which will be something new after seven years. So we're looking forward to that. So you're not going to be the next president. You're you're stepping out, or you're still a candidate for for uh, next? No, no, I'm uh, stepping out. I, I really believe that I believe in change of power. I think it's a very healthy thing. I think, uh, you know, being in uh, one of the great democracies in the world like Paris, uh, it uh, like France, it's uh, it kind of reminds me how important it is this transition of power idea that we that we have. And uh, I'm looking forward to see uh, who will be the next uh, chairperson of the Athlete uh, Commission for BWF. You mentioned Malaysia and Korea. Were there any Chinese and how such a powerhouse can you know, implement and have a, make a difference in this, uh, this foundation, this association? Well, I think uh, the more the Asian countries are involved with the Athlete Commission, the, the better it would be to, to strengthen you know, our voice within the BWF. And um, I think that there must be, a, um, you know, a better communication with the, with the Chinese. We, we still don't know if all of them can speak English, but if there would be, you know, some Chinese players that can speak fairly good English, it would be great if they could join uh, the, the, the meetings and it will just, you know, strengthen the, the sport from the, from the core, which is the athletes. Okay. Seven years is a long time, but it's also a short time. Uh, what have you achieved that you're especially proud of as a whole group? And what are your targets for the, the years to come? Well, in my first meeting uh, as an elected uh, president, I said uh, we had three main targets. What we wanted to do was, number one, get a vote on the BWF Council. Number two, have a continuous, uh, a continuous budget to operate uh, a board uh, past the time that I'm done. And uh, number three, be able to successfully introduce legislation into the BWF. Since that time, we do have a vote as of today. Uh, we do have uh, an annual budget, which, uh, which allows us to operate the commission. And we notably uh, passed equal prize money into badminton. And that actually was the only legislative act uh, initiated by uh, Athlete Federation in the entire IOC movement in the last 10 years. So it really was a significant accomplishment. And very soon after, Pedro was... Uh, 
brought into the IOC Athlete Commission, and I do believe it was a direct result of our uh, success uh, in that particular uh, legislation. Okay. What do you target for the, the years to come? What is important for you, for the Commission, uh, in, the, in the months and years to come? Well, something very important is that the transition has to be a successful one. We need uh, some candidates that can um, you know, work as well as Bobo and I, or even better. Uh, the, the BWF is, is actually looking very carefully and they're a bit nervous and I can understand why because uh, Bob and myself we have been working quite hard to, to get this thing well structured and now that we are both stepping down there, there can be some doubts if uh, some players can you know maintain the same standard that we had or that we had uh, but that's the most important we, we need to find the right candidates and we need to find a really strong chairperson uh, in order for the chairperson to sit in the BWF council and you know be have the respect or earn the respect as myself and Bob has have earned within the BWF. Okay. So far there were a lot of people involved that were either from Europe or the Americas not some so many from Asia. Do you think that's something that needs to be improved and that could be a key to uh, future successes? Yeah absolutely and it will be improved actually already uh, we have had the uh, the uh, candidacies open for uh, a couple months already and uh, we have received candidates from China uh, from Korea and from Indonesia already so uh, actually we were kind of hoping we could get a few more from Europe if that's possible but I would agree that historically um, historically the, the, the Asians have been a little reluctant especially with the players but that's changing I can see the players are more and more open uh, and the administrations that Korea has been is especially uh, trying hard I mean they send a translator to everything on their own expense um, and uh, they're, they're incredibly helpful so I really think that I really think that it's going in the right direction and uh, I do believe that in the in the next 10 years we're going to see an Asian chairperson.